Hey guys, welcome back to another episode in the deep playthrough of Metro Exodus and Host Edition. I'm still stuck at the uh, same area as the previous four short episodes because the game keeps crashing, so I cannot even get the full episode in. Uh, I actually, in the meantime, already went back, cleared out everything, uh, almost everything uh, at the dock site because over here I cannot cross this bridge because the guy randomly. Uh, turns around as soon as I cross this bridge um, But then the AI over there also crept out um, It's um, It has like an invisible barrier as soon as I I will try it again for like a, I've been working playing in, on it I discarded the footage but it was like I don't know two hours or something um, there are like invisible barriers over there as well as soon as I step into a certain facility of the NPCs they will just spot me even if they don't spot me and then it's alert state and shooting and whatever I just want to take them all out because I just want to play non-lethally and I also want to explore this area. So, uh, but it, it, it's literally, I'm, I'm fully convinced uh, the AI is crept out. And the problem is, it seems to be baked in into the safe. Because uh, even reloading uh, or going to the safe house and sleeping and, and uh, re-saving or getting totally far away. <laughs> doesn't do oh that was a close one doesn't do anything it remains uh, um, the same issue and I'm not even sure whether it's only that guy over there because there it creeps out over well uh, as well it is just randomly it seems somehow there is something buggy in the game which makes it that at least one npc is um crept out is crapping out this ai by the way in the previous episode i shot out all these light bulbs I, rem I noticed afterwards, I think, there's like this generator here, over there. And I thought it would maybe have been there just to, to uh, get a guy to walk over here, but probably that is just... there to um, turn off all the light bulbs at once so there was no use or a reason for me to shoot them out individually but those guys over there there i think they're also now crapping out they are already standing way too long in um, one area But yeah, let's hope I hit a lucky run. I'm just, there's one thing I try to live by a bit. And that is perseverance wins the day. And the other adage that I try to live by is lots of crumbs also make a cookie. Which of course does not apply to this situation. But perseverance wins the day does certainly apply to this situation the problem is that um, yeah there may be no way to get through here without triggering an alert and I would be pretty uh, bumped out by that because I put in so much time and retries now to do get through it but yeah if it's not working, it's not working. 
Here, that's what it's crapping out. Now you see the guy that was chopping wood is now running randomly to one of the sandbags in an alert state. And I can take him out. I already did that before. Uh, and I'm gonna try that again now by just creeping up behind him because he's totally in some kind of a fixed state. As soon as I walk over there where the uh, friendly NPC is, he will walk to... Oh shit, now that other guy is looking in this direction. Um, anywho, now he suddenly is returning back <coughs> to his... Oh, what the hell was that? That was my puss, my cat. He's now suddenly returning to his wood cutting and the guy to the left also is triggering his regular routine again so that's a good thing but i think as soon as i go over here he will run to the sandbags in an alert state there he comes there he is so it's just prepping out and now as soon as i go to the other side he will run through the sandbags on the other side and now he's running back. It all looks pretty easy, but it is not. Because it's totally random. And the, the only thing extra now is that the guy to the back actually does have a patrol. So it makes it harder me to do what I want to but I will try it as soon as the guy to the left walks to the back again I'm gonna lure the woodcutter back to his sandbag all right so that would be now like here he comes and now if I am quickly enough, I can get over here. Careful, on your left. And <laughs> take him out. Nobody here. No skin off my bones. Oh shit! This is what I mean. Suddenly they are all. Um... Oh my god! My god! I'm not loading up these saves because they are totally messed up. So I have to start all over at the uh, barge again. I don't think there's a way through here. There's a float between the barges. Climb overboard. At least it didn't crash. just taking my chances I have no idea whether this guy is looking in my direction yes he is Ooh. yeah screw it that was my own mistake I was impatient please don't crash nice there's a float between the barges climb overboard I'm really working around the AI uh, bugginess. But I don't think it's possible in the end. I think the game simply has some latent alert state in the background somehow triggered that it just wants to effectuate. Yes, that was a close call, for sure.
man, I've never been stuck in one area. Yeah, that's not true. I've been stuck longer. Also, this hat and this gun floating in midair. It's just, I, yeah, I don't understand why a game that has been out for two years, there's like this re-release. Why that still has like bugs like this in it. It should be totally ironed out, everything. Alright, I'm now, I want to pick up all the goodies here, but that also does not make any sense. Because I will probably fail again. I should do that once took care of them all. Alright, let's lure the woodcutter over here again. He's probably already there. Now I am trying to get behind him again, but... Alright, that guy is sitting. Ah, now I understand why I got spotted. The guy near the fire is actually now facing the other way. Previously, when I uh, made it through here, that guy was looking in the opposite direction. That's why I could take him out. And the woodcutter guy doesn't seem bugged anymore. He's not running here anymore. So that really provides opportunity. If he is just stuck over there, I see his, the guy uh, behind the guy at the fire. I see a headlamp over there. If that is the woodcutter guy and he's just stuck in his motion there, I don't mind. And I can just focus on the guy to the left. Still, I'm sure it will crap out in another way now, but... That guy walking back, yes he is. Yeah, that was my freaking opportunity of taking him out. You know what? Yeah, or not. I wanted to say now he's actually going even further away. Alright, he's over there. He's over here. Come on. This spot. I mean, that worked, right? Nice. Will it finally work out? Ah, uh, no, I see him already. There's suddenly a guy and it's actually... He just came out of nothing, so it really is bugs. Because there are supposed to be two guys left. Now there are three guys. There is still the woodcutter guy. He's still behind his sandbag now, so I'm totally screwed now. Because the guy near the fireplace is looking at his direction. I cannot take out the guy. You will see the guy now running through the sandbags. Yeah, there he comes. Man, he just came out of nowhere. And that's what I mean. The game so somehow wants an alert stage somehow. Is the guy near the fire pits? Yeah, he's probably there. All right. The only thing I can think of, I already tried it earlier. But let's try it again. It's just really get out of sight. 
throw a decoy and hopefully that will uh, yeah, trigger them a bit and then afterwards hopefully they will take different positions and maybe then I can take them out but I'm pretty sure it will still not work but let's just try it man it's a, I must say it's actually pretty fun trying to work around an AI bug if it ultimately works I will be very happy otherwise I will be pretty frustrated but yeah what can you do if suddenly guys seem to I'm pretty sure there were only three guys on that dock I took one down and now there are still three so I think that one simply spawned in out of nowhere the guy near the the sandbags all right so what do we have we have one guy standing stationary we have the guy sitting at the woods and we have the buggy guy in an alert state over there he suddenly yes maybe an earlier alert state didn't reset fully or something anyways i am throwing some goodies right over there enough throwing cans come out and surrender if you want to live all right now i need to be a little bit um cautious check out the guys all the way to the back they are now also suddenly in an alert state that's not normal they should they're way too far to be triggered by the can i just threw the guys over there Alright, at least they are all on their patrol, except for the guy to the right. He is again totally the fixed in his position. I wonder whether they actually also can look up. now that one guy suddenly probably goes back to his wood chopping routine yes and now the good thing is the guy near the fire pit is now looking in a different direction the other guy now is fixed in place he randomly wherever he ends up with this alert stage then afterwards he just randomly stays into one place but yeah i could maybe take out the woodcutter guy now the only problem is that as soon as i get down he probably again stops his woodcutting and goes to his sandbag <laughs> Yes, like now, he stopped. And the problem is that the other guy... Ah, now he's randomly taking a sick. Right, does that mean I can just get to him? Maybe. Uh, now not now he again if I'm here he goes to his regular routine if I go there
He stops it. Not sure where he is now. Oh my god, this is pretty tiresome. The problem is I cannot now get to him because the other guy is frozen in a direction that I don't can't get to the other guy because I need to jump down here if I want to get to him. And that guy is looking in the wrong direction for that. So let's do another alert stage. Yes, it's very time consuming, but it is what it is. I have no other way than to game the system a bit, so to say. And it's not really a system. It's a bugged out AI, so... Yeah. What do you want me to do? Probably the guys on the other boat are now also in an alert state. It's just totally. Yeah, are they in an alert stage? No, they're actually not. Alright, let's hope they all settle down in an advantageous position. Or, yeah, viewing direction. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, now the other guy is fixed in that position. Fine by me. Because that means that he will not have no eye on... The other guy. Here, the wood chopping guy is now running over here again. And if that other guy is still where he is, oh, now the wood chopping guy is back again. Alright, usually he stays longer behind the sandbag. And you hear him running back again. Ah, now I hear him running back again. Or not. Maybe he's still there. Yes, he's there. Come on, this should work. And that's what I mean. That is one crappy AI dude gone. And now I can actually immediately take out the other guy, I would say. But previously, that suddenly automatically triggered. An alert stage and I was not sure from where could be the guy all the way over there I don't see him now so let's just try it no damn it I wanted to Disable the um, fireplace, but at least I wasn't noticed. That's already pretty good. So, this is actually the way I was hoping it would be. Go. Well, 
but it's still tricky because we're dealing with crap AI but at least the guy who really was crapping out I think is now out of the equation Careful, on your left. all right don't do anything crazy um, teammates because the teammates also uh, in earlier attempts they randomly started shooting and what I'm a bit hoping for is that the more of these guys I take out that maybe the game will just that I'm also taking out the corrupted part so to say oh man all right the only thing I should be cautious about is that it is becoming daylight so they have a big field of view i can only take out this guy if the guy on the barge is looking the other direction that would be now <coughs> and take out the lights all right finally ah uh, this is what i mean i got him No, I want to do it uh, one more time and do it right because it is possible. I'm not sure why they now suddenly started shooting. I think that are the guys on the bar uh, oh. down below that because it was turning daylight. Um, Uh, saw me so probably what I need to do before I do any crazy stuff I just need to take a sleep and make it night again because it is persistent I think as you take out guys And you do like uh, and uh, you do like uh, sleeping, and uh, that's like an auto save and stuff. And you have like that whole time going by mechanic, so you're really taking out of the game world, so to say. Even if you get back, the guys you took out remain out. So that is at least uh, nice and persistent. So I was almost there, and maybe there is a way indeed I can take them all out non lethally and stealthily. Just re requires quite some retries but at least i now know i can take out these three guys if i want to and if they're all looking in the their ai scrapping out in the right direction so to say so that for instance means having the guy on the fireplace look in the other direction that's where it starts with so for that I am now throwing a thingy. All right, in the meantime, I am going back to the roof to get a good overview of their positions. Man, starting to get pretty knowledgeable about this port area.
Alright, let's hope they are in a nice position. Alright, where are they? One guy all the way to the back. I wonder whether he's just fixed over there or he does have his patrol activated again. Yes, he is patrolling. Alright, we have the bugging out guy near the um, pit over there. And I need to be a bit more quick because uh, it will become daylight soon. I think that is what got me spotted earlier. So I will be a little bit more quick. Alright, the other guy is walking back. And that guy is still over there. So here we go. I think I'm just immediately taking him out. The door. And let's take out the fire. And we should be good. So indeed, if you do it quickly, you're a bit lucky, you can get damage ahead. All right, and now the question is, do I, yeah, it's four in the night. It's still night, I think, in the game. Oh, that was a close call. It was a very close call. What's the general idea of even having a switch? They want more losses, or what? Alright, he's walking back. And this could be pretty damn dangerous. I'm trying it. Screw it. Nice. And what I am doing now, I would say, is an auto save. I'm happy enough with this. At least the guys over here are all out. Now there are only three guys on the barge itself, and then I've taken them all out. Probably I, yeah, I will first, um, I do have a little bit more time, I will first loot them, because if I do the auto save after sleeping in the safe house, I am pretty damn sure that they will despawn, or the chances are pretty big, at least their weapons will probably still be there. But their buddies won't. Thank you very much. Where is his weapon? Does he have a weapon? Right, that standing up is pretty dangerous. And also, the guys down there is pretty dangerous. With that lamp over there. So. I am taking it slowly. Only when he turns around. Like now. And I...
disabling the lamp. Oh shit, where is his weapon? There. Oh, oh shit, he can see me. That was a close, very close call. Right, actually it seems there is not much here and I was actually expecting that. But I just wanted to be sure, you never know. Maybe there is a book or something, a collectible. I'm just missing one last collectible. So at least I know that is not here. But for instance, over there, Seems there is stuff, uh, that is this dude. There's at least some stuff more to loot. All right, and now I just need to go back to the bridge that is continuously, um, the walkway to the other barge that is continuously crapping out. That. The metal detector is did signal. Anyways, before I take those two out, because yeah, they were also very buggy. Their AI randomly. Um, turning in my direction as soon as I approach them and not randomly but actually consistently turning into my direction when I approach them so holy shit there's a guy over there who wasn't there before that's Is that maybe the reason why I got spotted? Holy shit, maybe the game... Yeah, I cannot imagine. No, the game was buggy for sure. This is probably a bug as well that that guy suddenly spawned there. That could be a guy who actually... noticed me when I crossed that walkway and that then alerted the other guy yeah I'm not sure I'm just assuming all right um, I'm not taking the risk I'm already happy that I took out quite a lot of them And I would, no, I'm not going over there. That is too big of a risk, I will be spotted. It's getting uh, daylight. I will just, um, I took out quite some guys over here. I am saving this attempt. Please don't spot me on my way to the safe house. That would be very much appreciated. I'm actually crouching because I don't trust the game for one bit. No, oh, man, I was like falling down almost. I was like, all right, am I really falling down? Uh, and I had like a very freaky pose. Now she is normal again, but she had some kind of. Uh, head twisting going on. All 
right, hopefully we should be good now. a bit should have some more stuff um, what to do let's create one of those and go to bed yeah man no I do think that the uh, AI was crappy but now that guy suddenly turning down up <coughs> below grounds I'm not doubting did I just overlook him initially I was pretty sure there was nobody there still am actually but I'm now starting to doubt it a bit and that he may be the one that spotted me when I moved from one barge to the other no it's that's not him because actually the guy who kept on spotting me on the barge it's not like he went into an alert mode he just casually went to his body and started talking about the weather and stuff so it was not triggered by an npc spotting me i'm pretty sure i think that is just another maybe symptom of the bugginess here that randomly that guy down below spawned in just like earlier, I think also a guy near the sandbag spawned in. But yeah, I'm not 100% sure. But if everything goes according to plan, we now have like, yeah, these guys are all still out. And we are during the night. But that's good. It's actually pretty nice. They don't disappear. They Attention on your left. do remain. All right, let's see about this guy. Yeah, so there is a guy here apparently. Could that have been the guy that spotted me on the barge? I wonder. Anyway, he's no problem anymore. Uh, that's what I mean with... Um, yeah, the AI crapping out. Suddenly my NPC start shooting. It's crazy. At least we have safe. Oh, by the way, I am hitting the 40 minute marker. Guys, uh, yeah. Hopefully the next episode will be the last one in this area. Otherwise I will just uh, continue indeed ahead, but uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it still somewhat. Slowly but surely I'm working my way around the AI to just get a fully non-lethal stealthy playthrough with ability to explore the area. Uh, but yeah, it's easier said than done. I don't think maybe it will even be possible, because as you just noticed, I take down the guy down below and suddenly the NPC starts shooting while I was not spotted so it's just all very random um, but I will figure that uh, to, yeah explore that a little bit more in the next episodes and then we will continue with the main campaign finally hope you enjoyed it still somewhat I hope to see you in the next one and for the meantime do not forget always do keep on gaming see you later